Fresh Gang. What's going on, y'all? It's it's raining out here where I'm at today in Chicago. Well, right outside of Chicago. I have something special that I'm bringing to y'all today. Like, I can't even... I, I'm excited. Like, right, so I'm I excited. told y'all I had a surprise. So, I'm on my way to it. And uh, I'm going to get right back with y'all. That's right. For those of you that don't know, it's CJ on 32s, and I am his personal barber. This is an every week thing. Check me out as I get my homie right. If you haven't already, I need y'all to go subscribe to his channel right now. Y'all go check him out. He got some of the dopest Camaros I have Big head ever on seen. Go check my boy out. Purchase your track now. in my chair and feel dusty, rusty, smackdown, bogish, bogish, bog. And by the time you get out of my chair, when I sit you up and you see that transformation in that mirror, you like, dang, dang, that's me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. That's me. Oh my God. You start feeling yourself in that mirror. That's that feeling. That's what I like making y'all feel. I love it. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing I trade being a barber in this world for. A lot of barbers do use cutting hair as a hustle. It don't last long, in my opinion. A hustle don't last long. It could be here today, gone tomorrow. But before I forget, I gotta give a shout out to my tattoo girl. Yes, tattoo girl. Y'all, she is currently in the process, so don't examine too hard. I just got to show it off a little bit. But she's currently in the process of finishing my half sleeve. And when I tell y'all it's going to be dope, it's going to be dope. Check it out. So we got, of course, I Stay Fresh. It's still healing a little bit, you know. So, you know, we got that barber pole, the shears and stuff. And you know we got to have... We still in the process, you know. It's gonna be pretty dope when I'm done though. So if y'all looking to get tatted and y'all in the Chicago mm -hmm. suburbs area. Wherever you at, if you're trying to come get tatted, hit her a follower. Um why I became a barber. Um <laughs> it's a funny story why I became a barber. Everybody always asks me why I became a barber. So I'ma tell y'all why I became a barber. So fresh out of high school. Didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. My mom was like, you should go to barber school. At the time, I was like, man, being a barber ain't no real job. She was like, why ain't it? Barbers make a lot of money. Long story short, I went away to college in Florida and I played basketball. Came back home, didn't finish college. Stuff. I started working jobs. I swear to y'all, in like probably a year, I had maybe 12 jobs. I probably had 12 jobs in one year, y'all. Like, and it was really just because I didn't know what I wanted to do. So I got this opportunity. Somebody hit me up through Facebook and was like, you want to go to barber school? And I'm thinking, I'm like, 
here we go with this barber school thing again. Like, I'm like, okay, whatever. Well, scholarship. What? Hold on. What? So not only am I gonna go to school, but y'all gonna let me go to school for free. Rewind. That's why I was saying I started cutting hair in the first place. It was because I was dating these boys, right? And their hair was just always nappy head. Like, and I used to be like, man, I bet I could cut your hair. And they used to be like, man, I ain't letting you touch my hair. You ain't never cut no hair before. Story short, they never let me cut their hair. Anyways. <laughs> So I started barber school. I'm gonna work full time until I had to go to part time because I couldn't go to school part time. I had to go to school full time. So I do all this work. I'm talking about this. Be I'm talking about you finna go on your honeymoon. You finna get married. You about to go on your anniversary day. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like. Okay, my man's gotta be right. And I know when I get done with this haircut, I'm finna get the best tip ever. Man, when I tell y'all, when they got up out that chair and they handed me a dollar. Bro, a dollar? Gee, I just worked magic on you, bro. Like, you give me a dollar. All right, bet. But man, I had some people came up in there and they was taking care of me. I'm talking about, they already knew that when they got in the chair and when they got out of my chair, they was going to be looking like a million bucks. Here now, I can play Stay Fresh is here. Subscribe. Hit me up. No, Let y'all what y'all want to see me. Ones that's been rocking with me from day one, I love Thank you. Peace. Mm -hmm.